Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 1 on problem 6 on analysis of beams. Here I will be showing you a demo on simply supported beam with uniformly varying load and also a pointed load using ANSYS mechanical APDL to obtain bending moment and shear force diagrams. Here I will be concentrating only on getting bending moment and shear force diagrams. The problem is this way. The problem is this. As you see here, this is a simply supported beam and you have a uniformly varying load to a distance of 3 meters and it is 40 kilo Newton per meter and there is 80 kilo Newton also here at a distance of 4.5 meters from the left support. Okay. And it has a rectangular cross section as usual 0.2 into 0.3 and Young's modulus is 210 GPA. It is a steel. Poisson's ratio is 0.27. You are supposed to find reaction at the supports that means here RA and RB. If it is A, B, C, D, R, A and R, D, you have to find bending moment and shear force diagram using theoretical methods first, theoretical methods and use, uh, use ANSYS mechanical APDL to verify the above answers. These are all the things what has been asked. Okay, now you see here how you do theoretically. Okay, now as you see here, this is a beam. Let us say A, B, C, D, R, A and R, D are the reactions at A and D. Okay, this is 40 kilo Newton per meter or 40,000 Newton per meter or this is 80 kilo Newton or 80,000 Newtons. Okay, now you see here how to find the reaction is first uh, Ra plus Rd, Ra plus Rd is equal to this uh, triangular load. No, the load total load will be half into 40 into 3 that is 40 kilo Newton per meter. Since it is 3 meter, it is 40 into 3. Had it been 4 meters, 40 into 4. Okay, now it is 3 meters. 40 kilo Newton per meter. 40 kilo Newton into 3 I have taken. And everything I am taking in kilo Newton. Finally, I will be converting into Newtons. Okay. Half into 40 into 3 plus 80, 140. That means this is Ra plus Rd is 140. Taking moments about A or D, whatever is convenient to you take. Let us say taking moments about A. See carefully. Rd into total distance 6 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 3 3 6 rd into 6 that is anti clockwise moment positive i have taken rd into 6 that is positive this is clockwise that you take negative minus 80 into 4.5 correct no? 80 into this distance 4.5 minus this is very careful here this half into 40 into 3 the total load is assumed to act at 2 by 3rd from this distance or 1 by 3rd from here. Okay. In that way, it, when it is acting here, this distance is 2 by 3 of 3. And this distance is 1 by 3 of 3. Okay. In that way, half into 40 into 3. And it is assumed to act at this place. And this distance is 2 by 3 of 3 meters. Okay. Into 2 by 3 into 3 you take. In that way, if you simplify, it is 6 RD is equal to 360 plus 120 equal to 480. Okay. That means RD is equal to 80 kilo newtons you get. That is RD is equal to 80 kilo newtons or 80,000 newtons. Okay. Then RA is equal to 140 minus RD that is 60 kilo newtons or 60,000 newtons. Okay. That means you should know very well RA, the reaction at A is 60,000 newtons and rd is 80000 newtons please be careful about this because the total load of this triangular load is assumed to act at this point so that this distance is one third this distance is two third okay one third of the height the height is three meters here in that way it is one it is two even when it is acting here it is two by third of three two by third of three that's what i got okay in that way i have got RA and RD I have found out the reaction at the supports. Okay. Now you see here shear force diagram. This is a simple one. Shear force diagram you see here. Now RA you have just now calculated 60 kilo newtons or 60,000 newtons. RD you have just now calculated as 80 kilo newtons or 80,000 newtons. Okay. Now shear force diagram between C and D. Upward I have taken it as positive. Okay between C and D is 80 kilo newtons or 80,000 newtons. Correct? No? C and D is 80 kilo newtons. If you imagine a section plane, to the right of it, you see what exactly is the force. It is an upward force 80 kilo newtons. 
or 80,000 newtons. That means shear force between C and D is 80 kilo newtons or 80,000 newtons. Then you take any section plane between B and C. Shear force between B and C, for calculating the shear force between B and C, you take all the forces which are acting to the right of it. That means one is this 80. 80. This is another minus 80 is also there. 80 minus 80. 80, this is positive. This is downwards is negative. 80 minus 80 is 0. That means shear force between B and C is 0. Okay. Then you see shear force at A you see because when you calculate all the forces to the right. Okay. I have given you here. This is 80. This is minus 80. Then the total load of this is half into 40 into 3. Okay. Half into this is half into 40 kilo Newton per meter. No? Half into 40 into 3. 3 is the distance. 40 kilo Newton per meter. Since there is 3 meter, 40 into 3. Half into 40. That means to the any section plane here, to the right of it, if you see the load is the load will be 80 minus 80 minus half into 40 into 3 that amounts to minus 60 kilo newtons that means shear force at a that is here it is minus 60 kilo newtons okay that's what i given or 60000 newtons that means as you see between c and d it is 80 kilo newtons or 80000 newtons between b and c is zero and at a it is minus kilo newtons minus 60 kilo newtons or minus 60000 newtons and as you know, for a, it is a uniformly varying load. No, this will vary parabolically. From B it is zero. From B to A it varies parabolically. When you draw a curve, by that is when you are doing theoretically, you draw a curve like this, parabolic curve. Okay, it is not a straight line. It is a parabolic curve. You make a curve between B and this point. Okay, that is this at this point. It is 60 kilonewtons. This is 80 kilonewtons. That means. Shear force diagram calculations I have done. Now you see here the bending moment diagram calculations you do. Bending moment diagram calculations also won't be complicated. It is in the same way. Uh, you see here RA we are calculated as 60 kilonewtons, RD 80 kilonewtons, and all that. Now bending moment diagram calculations. Bending moment at D anyway at this support it is zero. Bending moment at C you see. Bending moment at C anti clockwise positive. 80 into 1.5 it is 120 kilo newton meter or 120 into 1000 newton meter okay at c 120 kilo newton meter or 120 into 1000 120000 newton meter okay then bending moment at b bending moment at b is 80 into 3 80 into 3 that is 240 minus 80 into 1.5 80 into 3 minus 80 into 1.5. This is 240 minus 120. It is 120 kilo Newton meter only you get. That means between C and B, it is a constant thing. 120 kilo Newton meter. Okay. D it is 0. And I am telling you again, D it is 0. At C, uh, 80 into 1.5. That is 120. You write 120 kilo Newton. It is a straight line. Okay. Because it is just a simple load. Okay pointed load in that way it is 120 at b also since it is pointed load applied it is rd into rd 80 into 3 minus 80 into 1.5 that is you are getting 120 kilo newton meter only or 120 into 1000 newton meter that means between b and c it remains same then if you want bending moment at a you do in the same way you should get z zero only no at the support you should get zero if you want calculations 80 into 6 bending moment at 6 80 into 6 minus 80 this is clockwise minus 80 into 4.5 minus be careful about this minus half into 3 into 40 this is assumed to act at this distance that means this distance is 1 by 3 this distance is 2 by 3 2 by 3 of height height is 3 meters this is 1 by 3 this is 2 by 3 in that way half into 3 into 40 is the total load which is assumed to act at this, this point and this distance is 2 by 3 of 3. That's what 2 by 3 into 3. If you do this calculation, you are getting 0 only. That anyway, but what you have to do is this is 0, 120, 120. Since this is, we are doing a bending moment diagram calculation. 
okay winding moment diagram calculation that this is going to vary cub cubically this is a cubical variation that is why between b and a b and a you draw a curve in a cubical form okay b and a this is a cubical variation you clearly right it is a cubical variation and in this way bending moment diagram is obtained did you follow bending moment diagram is obtained now these things have to be verified these things have to be verified using ANSYS. Okay, now we'll go for the answers. See here, we'll go in the same way. Okay, we'll go in the same way. Now, I have already created a new, see here, I have already created, uh, I have changed the job name, Gurdath UVL, that is uniformly very load. You say new log and error file, okay, you say, okay. Then, and uh, uh, change title also, I have given the title also, say okay, okay. This is the change, uh, title is simply supported beam with uniformly varying load bending moment and shear force diagrams. This you write it readily. Okay, once you do this, okay, now what you do is file, that is, now you start with the procedure. Okay, this is a common thing. Okay, first always change job name, job name. it is change job name and then change title also. These things you do and finally you see list log file. Okay, once you list log file, you see a fresh log file is created and whatever you get, once you do by gra graphic user interface, this is method one and the copying this and pasting here and analyzing will be method two. That also you can do. This method two, you don't have to worry really, but at least you should know from the interview point of view and knowledge point of view. This you have to know. Okay. But anyway, now I have already changed the uh, job name, Gurdath UVL, and I have already changed the title, changed the title also, and the title has simply supported beam with uniformly varying load, bending moment and shear force diagram. Now you, as usual, you start now. Preferences, structural, okay. Okay, then preprocessor, element type, add, edit, delete, add, you do, B, two node 188, you take, just say okay. Then you search J, close. Then take this material properties, material models, click on structural, click on linear, Click on elastic, click on isotropic. Now, as you know, it is 210 E9 because everything, everything, this is 210 into 10 to the power of 9 Newton per meter square. Now, I see that the loading is in Newton and modeling in meter. Be careful, I have retained it as 210 E9 Newton per meter square, 210 gigapascals, 210 into 10 to the power of 9 Newton per meter square. And I'll see that every load applied will be in Newtons and modeling is in meters. Okay, you say material exit you do. Okay, then section you go, beam common section you go, then this is 0.2, that's common section, you, whatever they give. I'm telling you, we are continuously we are doing B.2 or H.3, whatever they give. Uh, sometimes they give 0 0.4, 0 0.8, whatever you, whatever they give, you apply it here. 0.2 and 0.3, breadth into height. This is B, this is height, okay. 0 0.2 and 0 0.3, then you say okay. Okay, then once you do this, then you are going for the modeling. Modeling you do, I uh, will create the key points and we'll create by lines, we'll join by lines and all that. Okay, we'll do these things in the next session. Now we have completed session one on beam analysis where you have uniformly varying load and also a pointed load. Here we are concentrated on theoretical aspects and all that. These things have to be proved using answers mechanical APDL. This we will be doing in the session two. Thanks friends. Thank you very much for watching. Please watch the session two.